Hey, we're Emily and Ty with 94 from the Fish and CCM Magazine. We're backstage at the Dove Awards with Ellie Holcomb, who just won New Artist of the Year. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you all so much. Yeah. It's a joy to be with you. Yeah, so what's it like? You've set the bar really high for yourself. You know, I know your dad is very big into Christian music as well. What's that like? Honestly, um, it has been one of the sweetest things ever. It feels full circle in a lot of ways. Um, I remember as a little girl um, watching my dad talk about the power of music to, to bring hope to weary and wounded and hopeless people. And um, so to get to be a part of that story now is so humbling and um it's so exciting too you know and i know i was before but it just feels i, I remember as a little girl watching my dad be at the doves be nominated for producer of the year and so i'm like dad we got to do this together this is so cool so it's been sweet and now for those who are wondering now who is your dad, your dad? <laughs> brown <laughs> bannister yes brown, Very, like yeah the dirt. yep <laughs> famous producer in the christian music world responsible for some lady named amy grant yeah, she was 16 in his youth group, and he was like, this girl's pretty good. And uh, they asked him to produce a record. He'd never produced a record before. And so, uh, anyway, as a little girl growing up in, in the 80s and 90s, Amy is like the pinnacle. I mean, she's just, she was like one of my heroes. So, anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> hey, Dad. Hello, interview bombing. Um, so, anyway, it's, it is, uh, it's a sweet thing. I, I've always thought that he had one of the coolest jobs, and so then to get to work together is like extra. Exactly. Cool. So, we were just talking. She set the bar really high growing up, having you as an idol as far as Christian music and what it would be like to be right there with her dad. I have to ask, and I'm sure everyone who's watching wonders, what's it like seeing your daughter following your footsteps? Well, it, first of all, it's just like crazy. I mean, it's humbling. <laughs> uh, I, I can't believe this has happened. This is like so unlikely and never was even in the, it wasn't even in the lens, mm -hmm. uh, the focus, right? Oh, wow. Because she just really, from the beginning, just, just really was gripped by the Word of God and just utterly dependent on the grace of Jesus and just wanted to like that's where all this stuff came out of and she was singing with her husband and finally he said girl you got to record you got to record these songs so it the whole thing happened so organically you know I could have gone to my friends 15 years ago and said hey Ellie has a good voice but it just God just did it in his time and I am so proud of her I'm just proud of who she is you know, and this is like extra layer of icing on top. Yeah. Now, growing up, was what was the moment that you realized that you wanted to be an artist? Was there something that you wanted to pursue before that realization? And, and what was that like? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I grew up actually not wanting to be an artist, yeah. which sounds That's crazy. True. But I did. As a little girl, I saw, I just knew, um, I saw, I knew that my friends, parents who were artists, they had to be gone from home all the time. And, and my dad worked a lot, too. And so I was like, I swore I would never marry a musician. I swore I would never do music. And um, it's so, it's and so you've done ironic. Both. I know, yeah. So I don't swear anymore, basically. It doesn't work for me. Um, I swore I'd never marry my best friend, too, and I did. And he was a musician. So, you know. Um, but honestly, I, I remember in college, um, I was writing a lot of heartbreak songs, because that's what was happening in my life in college. And um, I remember sitting in the dorm stairwell. I go, I go in there, because one, it sounded good, and two, that way I wouldn't wake up my roommate. And I would close my eyes and just sing these heartache songs, heartbreak songs. And, um, and I would look up and girls would be lining the stairwell, a lot of times crying. And inevitably what would happen is one or two would come and sit down and they would say, thank you for singing that. I'm going through the same thing. Um, and they would tell me their story. And I was like, you don't even know me. But because I sang a song, you want to tell me your story. So I love, I learned then that music is a bridge builder. And then my husband and I volunteer at Young Life Camps every summer. And at Young Life Camp, I learned that music's a bridge builder that we can walk across and carry people's stories, but point them back to the hope and the love of Jesus. So I think I caught something there, that first Young Life Camp that we volunteered at, that I was like, I want to be a part of this. If music can help bring people hope, I, I want to be a part of telling that story. So. Talk a little bit about how you know, being involved with the Young Life Camps and how you see that that's bringing people hope to people you come in contact with. Yeah, so um, Young Life is sort of a, um, 
It's a ministry to high school, middle school kids who might never walk through the doors of the church. And it's for kids who walk through the doors of the church too. It's a relational ministry where um, college students, adult volunteers pursue kids and meet them where they are and they don't pressure them. They just love them, which is what Jesus does with us, right? And so, um, honestly, I, I, I think I learned from Young Life even how to learn love my neighbors better and how to love um, people who are so different than me. The craziest people that I meet now, I'm like, oh, I just want them to know that they're loved by Jesus. And and I, I learned that um, in Young Life. I was raised in a Christian home, grew up in the church, so I wasn't even around a lot of other people who didn't know Jesus. And so here I am at Young Life, and their whole goal is we want the farthest out kid, and we want every kid everywhere to know, to have an opportunity to encounter the gospel and to hear it in a way that they can understand. And so, um, oh, I just love it. Can you tell I'm a fan? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's one of my favorite things. And you see, you get to be a part of seeing um, God bring children, the harvest. You get to watch the harvest happen when you're playing. My husband and I play music at the camps. And we just, honestly, what, what our music gets to be is a part of the soundtrack that they're hearing as they, they experience their salvation for the first time. And what an honor. What an honor to be the soundtrack to somebody's first encounter with the love of the Lord. So. I see why you say you're proud of who she is, right? Oh my gosh! I, well, on the Young Life thing, I remember like they t- you can't use your phones until each week is over and a new group comes in. You have like two hour window. Yeah, they take the kids' phones away, that, so they're, the distractions are gone. Wow. After that That's first amazing. week, she called uh, Debbie and I, you know, her mom and, and me, and said, "Mom, Dad, I'm firing on all cylinders. This is unbelievable." I get to know girls, I get to talk to them, I get to do drama, sing about Jesus, and just like love on people. And I, th- I honestly, I think that's where this whole yeah. like ministry aspect of music really, really was birthed for you, don't you think? Exactly. Oh, absolutely. It was so awesome. I just, that I was, was like, awesome call. I get to be part of this story, yeah. a part of the bigger story, right? That God's going to write. Anyway, He didn't need us, but He invites us to be a part of it. And I'm like, what? We get to be on his team. This is so awesome. So, what's been a song on the new album that has really spoke to you personally? It's been mm. a very personal experience. For you me. know, I wrote the title track of the record is called "As Sure as the Sun," and and that comes from that verse, Hosea six three. Um, let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge Him. For as surely as the sun rises, He will appear. Mm-hmm. And then Lamentations three twenty two through twenty four. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. His compassions, they never fail. They're new every morning. And great is your faithfulness. And I am um, a worrier. And um, I know that the Lord says not to, but I like blatantly disobey him all the time. And if I don't have anything to worry about today, I'll borrow worry from another day. Like, what if, Lord? And um, and I, it's funny because I wrote that song um, for, for my daughter, um, and she wasn't even born yet. It was when Drew and I were starting to dream of, of this kid that we might get to raise one day. And I wanted to write a song that would carry the truths that I would hope that they would know in the deepest part of their being. And as it turns out, it's just the truth that I need to know in the deepest part of my being. That as surely as that sun comes up every morning, His love and His mercy are not going to run out on me. That is such good news. So I sing that to her every night. My little girl's name is Emmy Lou. She calls herself Emu because she can't say it yet. She'll be two in November. But I sing that to her every night. And um, and a lot of days it's interesting because it's just it's what I need to hear. So I'll cry um, singing it to her. And and I didn't even mean to write it for myself. But a lot of times the Lord knows it's it's just what my heart needs for that day. So. You do have so many reasons to be proud. I know. Well done. Tell me something I don't know. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us. And congratulations again on New Artist of the Year. Thank you so much. This is much. just the beginning. We're looking oh, for, forward to so much more. What a joy. And, of so course, it's been a pleasure you. chatting Thank with you so Dad. Much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ellie Holcomb, Brown Bannister. Thanks so much, you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, you're